happen with that. Yep. All right, briefly, I'll talk about Trump, y'all. I know y'all don't like Trump. We're basically just going to show what he said. Uh, well, uh, I'm going to say what Mike Pence said. Oh, what did Mike say? Well, y'all know what's going on with the, the whole thing with... Um, Abortion. The Republicans... Well, okay, first of all, let's go back. Mm -hmm. It used to be the, the line was drawn down the sand, that down the, straight down the line. If you were Democrat... You were, don't overturn Roe versus Wade. Don't touch anything with a woman's rights. Mm -hmm. And that's productive rights. People keep saying it's abortion, but it's, it's all, all, all IVF, health, everything. Health related. Anything reproductive. Mm -hmm. We think of babies right away. Right. Mm -hmm. And then Republican, we would always say Republicans are pro-life. Mm -hmm. And there was a few of them that said, with exceptions. With exceptions. And you but challenged people and said, that's not true. Then if y'all go back and look at our old videos, I made a comment, and I still hold true to this. Mm -hmm. There is no middle ground. You are either pro-life or you are pro-choice. That's it. And I don't even like saying pro-life. Because if you're pro-choice, it doesn't mean you're against life. Yep. But for the sake of the argument, I'll stick with the two sides. Okay. Pro-life, pro-choice. Okay. A woman has the right. It doesn't mean you necessarily don't believe abortion is not murder. Exactly. You just saying she Let has the right. That decision. And then there's some people who say it's not a baby anyway. It's not a viable in, you know, um, fetus. Mm -hmm. So they believe that it's not, you're not even talking about taking a human life. There's people that's pro-choice on that side. Mm -hmm. And then there's people that's pro-life, period. No matter what. No exceptions. It's between God. If God want to take the baby, he'll take it. No matter what happened to that woman or that young girl. Doesn't matter. The, God, why did this fight you? Why, why, why? If you. And they'll give a bunch of examples of women who were the R word. Yeah. Who violated. had their child. My best friend, her mom was the R word. She's, she's a, yeah. One of my of friends violated. in college. Yeah. Well, but yeah. her mom did. Her mom decided to carry. One of my friends her in mom college, was violated. Her mom was the R word. Mm -hmm. And she had her. And she had her. She decided to have her. But that's fine. That's her decision too. Exactly. Back to the, that's what I'm saying. It was her decision. But I get the pro-lifers. Yeah. They don't want, that exception is not now, even necessary. Trump ran on that. Yes, he did. And, and put, evangelicals backed him for that. Putting two supreme justice in there he said i three i think so i'll three, put them okay. in there mm -hmm. and they'll overturn my goal is to overturn roe versus wade mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. it was not for each state to make a decision right the, beginning. the supreme court said that at first his objection was to overturn roe versus, versus wade, wade. Mm -hmm. national a national ban mm -hmm. on abortion. Yes. That's what he ran on. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Supreme Court took it and said, we won't do a national ban. Mm -hmm. We'll let each state make their own decision. Mm -hmm. Each state having its own governor to do, make the decision. Now, what this bonehead has done, <laughs> and I don't understand, again, mega people make excuses for him all oh, the time. Oh, they do. My goodness. Is they said... Oh, well, he changed his mind. Now he's not, you know, for a national ban. Yeah. He's going with what the Supreme Court said. Mm -hmm. Let each state make that decision. Yeah. yeah. That's not what he ran on. Thank you. He's changing his tune. Doo -doo -doo. And the reason why he's changing his tune is because all these Republicans in these states are losing mm. in the House because of that. Yeah. Because the place that they thought the bible belt would be straight across pro-life yeah and they're finding out more people believe in exceptions thank you they don't want it straight across like you're saying it should be if thank they're pro-lifers or they don't even look at the abortion part they got hit with the ivf Ooh, in alabama and stuff that took a turn right there because a lot of these women was like oh that has something to do with roe versus wade Yes. Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. Because now you're saying that that um, fetus and that tube mm -hmm. is a human being. Yes. So if I drop it, 
Yeah. Or if something happens, God forbid. Mm-hmm. is the doctor going to be sued? Is the nurse going to be sued? Be. So now they saying, and then when the doctor starts saying, well, we're going to close these down. We're not doing we're not them in Alabama. We're not doing, we're not doing any IVFs in Georgia. No then more. all of a sudden, the Republican women in these states say, hold on for a minute. My eggs and my, my they're, they're uh, waiting for me to have a kid. So then Comb Over comes out and says, I think it should be each state. Let's hear him on the thing. Oh, that's all oh, you have. A he thing. says it. Okay, mm-hmm. let's hear. Who released a video where he claimed he was going to give his stance on abortion rights in America? Take a look. I was proudly the person responsible for the ending of something that all legal scholars, both sides, wanted and in fact demanded be ended. Roe v. Wade. It must be remembered that the Democrats are the radical ones on this position because they support abortion up to and even beyond the ninth month. The states will determine by vote or legislation or perhaps both, and whatever they decide must be the law of the land. Like Ronald Reagan, I am strongly in favor of exceptions for rape, incest, and life of the mother. Always go by your heart, but we must win. Yeah. Okay. You even said he's not even saying there. He's leaving it all to the to the states. Exactly. He's saying exceptions. Thank you. And the knucklehead said up to ni- over nine months. Uh-huh. Who has who cares a baby over nine months? Okay, hold on. Go ahead. <sighs> See how he wishy washy. I don't care about him being wishy washy because I expect that from him. Okay. Okay. But if you are can you at least, this is my part. Mm-hmm. This is when we was talking about the other day, Wendy, when I said somebody could be a friend, even if they're Trumpster, but I'll just call them stupid. Mm-hmm. I, you People have stupid friends. <laughs> I only tell them so much. Do I, I need I to help? Confine, I don't confine in I'll them. I'll help walking across, across the street. street. I'll tell them. Do you need help walking across the street? Mm-hmm. I'll help you. Okay. I'm a friend. <laughs> I know that you are dingbat, so you might need some help. <laughs> Now, anybody worth anything uh-huh. that listened to that mm. and said, and I'm not even a Democrat, mm-hmm. that Democrats want to take a baby at nine months yes. and beyond. So the baby going to be born and then you're going to take his life. What we had to remind us <laughs> that that's considered a, a, a felon. That's a crime. When that baby is a certain age, like that black lady that's having the issues with hers. It was a certain uh, age. They're, they're, she's being accused of taking her baby's life. Now, they were saying most doctors don't even perform um, abortion after a certain, a certain time. After so many weeks. Yeah. Unless, unless it's going to take the mom's life. Right. And if it's at nine months, she already gone. Like the mother in Texas, her baby was, um, was I don't know if her baby was still living, but it had an issue. Right. And they would have taken her life if she had it. Yeah. That's that's an extreme case where you're yeah. giving birth and the doctor has yeah. to make a decision. Yeah. Maybe the baby's hung on something or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. But that doesn't happen every day, all day. Mm-hmm. And some moms who have that situation, they don't want to take their baby. They want the baby to live. Or it could be a case where she could be out. Yeah, maybe she got shot or something, yeah. or and that decide. woman is out, and the baby. I don't know, whatever it is, it's, it's not scenarios. Common. Yeah. So for him to make that statement, he's a bonehead. Yeah. And for people to agree with the statement, you're. I'd, I'll help you walk across the street because you stupid. <laughs> now, <laughs> he switched his position. Yes, he did. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll tell you who's hog tied and mad. Who? Who? Mike Pence. What Mike saying? Hold on, let me do this. Mike got the nerve to be mad. They was getting ready to. Let me tell you something. They were getting ready to hang him. <laughs> well, that's how I'm getting ready to say. <laughs> now I sat there in that dang on White House. Yes, in the in the Senate room with Congress, and I let you push me to the side. Yes, yes. Every time I tried to say something, yes, yes, you moved me out the way. Yes, because you didn't, you didn't matter. You had special meetings. Yep. Without, you didn't invite me. Yes. 
You read reports. Uh huh. Didn't even send them to me. Yeah, tried to take his life too much. I went home and I cried every night. <laughs> said, mother, mother, mother. <laughs> and I said, mother, I got to do four years with this devil. Yes, yes. And she said, hold on, Mike. Mm -hmm. God knows he's what you're going you. through. Pray. And he's got you. Yes. You'll be okay. Now, I went four years. <laughs> I was out. The American people saw fit and didn't vote for you. Yes, yes. But then you said that that was a lie. Uh -huh. The big lie. <laughs> and that people all over the world, I mean, all over the country, yes. saw what these people was doing at these polls. Mm -hmm. Those two Negro women that was sitting up there smoking crack and throwing stuff, <laughs> uh, ballots and everything. <laughs> I listened in the room with you and Mary, uh, Giuliani. Yes. I missed supper with mother, mother for many nights <laughs> because I had to sit and listen to you talk about how the election was stolen. <laughs> And even asking you to do, take part of it. Then you called me on the phone. You called me in and you told me I got a scam. Yes. You got to be a part of it. And if you don't do this, Mike Pence, you are a criminal and you are an abomination <laughs> to not only your God, but mine. <laughs> You're not loyal. I sat there and I listened. Yep, yep. I didn't say a word. Uh -huh. They brought me on all kind of talk shows, Fox News everywhere. <laughs> I supported you. Uh -huh. I said, well, if that's how he feels, that's how he feels. Uh -huh. <laughs> then January 6th came, and uh -huh. then you told a bunch of people uh -huh. to go and kick in the doors of the Capitol oh, my life. where we were trying to have a meeting. My life was in danger. <laughs> they had signs that said, hang Mike Pence. Oh. And they had things with the guillotines, and uh -huh. they came in yelling, hang Mike Pence. Oh, God, I had to run. Now, my family was there because this was a special opportunity for me to look great. <laughs> they had to usher us out underneath the, white, the Capitol building, under the White House, through a tunnel. <laughs> they had to, we had to crawl out. Me and mother. And mo <laughs> <laughs> now we went underneath ground just like that show uh with what's her name that black lady what's her name terry uh carrie fisher oh uh, Hill, what's her name uh -huh. uh, uh we scandal scandal we okay. went under the white house and we crawled out of there and we came up through some hole oh, no. in the back of the white house through the uh the grass to, to, to get away from being we home. got in the car and we drove back to indiana oh lord well i felt safe Oh. I'm still not saying anything uh -huh. when they say they came in to say hang Mike Pence. Uh -huh. I still said they came in. They wasn't really going to hang me. Mm -hmm. People was just overacting. Yeah, yeah. I'm even sitting back calling, to hearing you call them hostages. Yes. Even though I know that they wasn't no hostages, they was coming in there to get me. What did he say, though? But when you say <laughs> that abortion uh -huh has exceptions Ooh. and there might be a national ban and you won't speak out against it mm. that's it that's it this is icing on the cake it says slap in the face mike pence blasts donald trump oh. for saying abortion restrictions should be up to the states because he didn't say that at first He's saying it now. Former President Donald Trump called to let states set their own abortion policy. Now, my aunt, hold on. It's drawing barbs from more than a few conservative Republicans who want a national ban, mm -hmm. including his former vice president, Mike Pence. <clears throat> President Trump's retreat on the right to life is a slap in the face to the millions of pro-life Americans who voted for him <laughs> in 2016 and 2020. <laughs> Pence shared on his social media. Oh, Pence is hot. I bet steam was coming out his ears. <sighs> Earlier in the day, the former president announced in a video that we saw that he believes states should choose their own abortion restrictions. Mm -hmm. A long-awaited move as abortion rights have taken center stage in the 2024 election. 
Trump did not immediately comment on Pence's criticism, but he responded to other Republican critics later in the day by saying that their calls for a national abortion ban will hurt him from winning. Yeah. So he has to get on the, the he has to now change his, his tactics and try to keep, maintain, you know, his, his being ahead. And Senator Graham says, all oh, the Democrats are sitting back loving this. Mm -hmm. They want to keep it going for as long as Republicans will allow them to do it. Let's milk it. Mm -hmm. That's what Lindsey Graham is saying. Yes. That right there is the only time you have ever heard Mike Pence say anything against Donald Trump. Because he's been holding it. Hold he it. had it real good. Because he actually is a pro-lifer. And there's nothing wrong with that. But he is what he is. And he doesn't switch depending on whether he's going to win or not. We told you, if you go back and look uh, way back in our videos, Trump, everybody who knows him in real life says he is not a pro-lifer. He never was. Mm -hmm. So this is an issue he doesn't really care about. No, he doesn't. Whatever one wins him into the White House is going to be the way he is going to He's go. He's a hustler. He's a hustler. He gets, he, he goes whatever the way, the, he, he get the most people to support him. He'll hold a Bible up. He'll do this. He'll tap dance. When Pence holds a Bible up, he means it. Yes, yes. Whether I win or not, this is how I run my life. Yes, yes. If I say I'm pro-life, I'm pro-life. Yeah. I don't go by the way the wind is changing. That's what he's saying. Thank you. This guy's going with whatever the wind is blowing. Yes. But people, like you're saying, they still following him wherever the wind blows them. Now, Nikki. They'll blow with them. Nick, I was going to say Nikki Minaj. Nikki Haley. <laughs> Nikki, Nikki Haley is the same way. She'll go with whatever the wind is blowing. Yeah, yeah. But she told you that. You don't care about you. Yeah. She told you that. Yeah, she, she said, I am a person, I'm pro-life, mm -hmm. but I have to look at what the American people um think. I I want yeah, I want to be able to meet halfway where we can make everybody at least okay with the decision. So she But is, that's not how she's Trump a ran. pro lifer. She was with like Pence. But she figures people are fighting in this country. If you got to do the, the pro-life, do it, do exceptions. And then that's taking you, like you're saying, out of those two Thank categories. Because you. now you're pro-life with the exceptions in place. All right. He told on himself. This is what Justice is saying mm -hmm. at the end. He said they have to do anything to win. That's why he's flip-flopping now. That's, that's, he's the Republican nominee. That's their Republican nominee. That's who they picked. He's a flip-flop. They had six of them. And the last time he ran, they had a good seven. And now, eight. if you wanted a pro-lifer with a national abortion ban, you should have voted for DeSantis. DeSantis. Thank you. Yep. So he's, he, he flip-flops, but people are okay with that. They'll still justify that he could flip-flop if he want to, if he could change his mind. If people are allowed to change their mind, they'll always find Thank a reason you. to justify him. Um, Katia says, here she, here she goes with the facial expressions on me. <laughs> um, Katia says, Lenore, I love your hoops. Thank you. Your earring. You normally don't wear those, do you? Mm -hmm. All the time. Mm -hmm. On camera? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. um, M. Perk says, hi, ladies. Hi, everyone. Hey, hi, everyone. Hi, hi. I got to fix my notifications. Yes, okay. everybody make sure you fix your notifications. Yeah. All right, so that's the yeah, only just time to show that when it came to abortion, mm -hmm. that's the only time you've ever heard Mike Pence mm -hmm. and man. I bet he has steam coming out his ears because we don't usually see that side of him. No, he tr he tries so so hard to to tolerate the pra craziness even in his Christian walk. But I know today he reminds me of that guy on It's a Wonderful Life. My wife cried all, all night, night long. <laughs> Could you call her stupid or something? Oh my gosh. I can see him saying that. Mother. Mother. She called me in the kitchen and, and had me listen to what you said. Yes. 
She cried all night long. He hurt her feelings. And he was mad about that. So that's good that he actually, I mean, he spoke up and made his comment. All right. Okay. So we'll see where this goes. Okay. Now, you always want to know who Charlemagne the God's daughter.